Peace and love, y'all. It's your brother Avis, and we back with another episode of What's the Word Wednesdays. This is episode 12, y'all. So, as y'all are coming in and getting things ready, I'm going to be posting down the topics for today. And as you're coming in, tell me, what's going on? What's the word? How are y'all feeling today? So, we're going to get this going. Y'all can tell me how it sounds in the background, too. And before I forget, let's add it now, let's add it now, let's add it now. So now we in full effect with that. Still getting used to putting up the logo, but... We in here, y'all. So we get a little bit more time, about another minute, and we'll we'll get started with the show song, and then we'll jump right into the show. Brother Avis, and we're back with another episode of What's the Word Wednesdays. This is episode 12. So, as y'all are coming in, tell me what's the word, what's going on around you, and tell me how you're doing today. And with that, today, the topics we got today for the 12th episode, we have one, we're gonna still keep on speaking on these current events that are happening around us happening wherever you may be then after we get into those current events we're going to get into the second topic which is going to be on the mental and emotional health of men and this was a topic that was chosen by a real good friend of mine hopefully we'll see if she gets on later if not and the last topic we're going to talk on today is how to avoid making assumptions which we have that word asinine you know making an at out of you and me so we'll get deeper into that or just open up the surface on that later on the show but to jump right in let's talk about these current events so if y'all have any in the comments please throw down in the comments even later on y'all come back to the show to watch it too to the um, later viewers Throw what you've been seeing currently around you and what's been happening. Shoot, tell me what's the word. So, currently what I've been seeing and hearing a lot more in the news, we have the whole big thing that everybody's been talking about, which has been the president or 45th or whoever you want to go by calling the person came down with CV and many are very appalled by how blatant or how nonchalantly he's been brushing this off and how he's been approaching it 
and going about doing things that would make the condition much worse and noting how as having that elite status in that title you are entitled to the best of healthcare officials treatments medicinal drugs and all of that to combat CV but I think just recently it's only been a while that he's had he's had it and he just ended up checking himself out of the hospital and going straight back into the work that he's doing and we know we still got the debates going on too so I know I'm not avoiding that but I know there's awesome debate probably y'all still watching right now but we have that going on as well too y'all can let me know how that's going because i have personally not subscribed to even looking in and really listening to you know the debates what's up brother george buffet destroyer in the building y'all and you know I, I i stated it last time to me i see it more as a course not only popularity contest i see it as a a real big reality TV show joke to me. And if you do your research and your history, you'll know that both sides are on the same team and that both come with their their terrible sides. So the whole thing of picking the lesser of two evils, I bring it up so much. You really have to think a little bit more deeper into it. I, it's like watching WWE. Um, I feel you, bro. For some people, WWE will be a lot more, it's definitely a lot more entertaining and not so upsetting as what is being shown on these debates. But I will say it's very funny. I, I did, when it came to the debates and stuff too, I like how the artist, his name is Locksmith, how he just made a video about it and about basically their perspectives when it came to having a black agenda, whether it was Trump or whether it was Biden. And it's just very telling to like show y'all like as much as y'all are putting faith into these politicians and, and folks that, you know, they really don't have you or anyone within either say black in my particular case, they don't have anything for you. But I'm not going to go further down into that. But I will say is do your research, look it up, be informed and take a lot of things that are said either with a grain of salt or just really critically take your time to look at it. So with 45th getting CV, these dramatic and roundabout debates in other news, there's still, of course, back and forth when we talk about economy-wise, there's still the House, Nancy Pelosi, and all of them are still in talks. It's, it's to a point where they're going to stall out as long as they can just because. I don't, I really don't know why that's the case, why the we don't want to created another stimulus and another package to support the country and support all of the states with it not being a detriment which if we really look at stuff how we talk how people talk about you know defunding certain areas and reallocating money and funds to different areas it's it's very surprising to when it comes to wanting to support a nation there is so much pushback on okay how much are we going to give and then keep on going back and forth back and forth back and forth which the whole main thing with the stimulus checks too is that it is to give a boost back to the economy which a lot of people when they get the checks what are they going to do go spend it so literally they're not going to be holding on to that money forever long it's going to go right back where it came from in some way shape or form for it for a good amount of people that's what it's going to be others they you know be a little bit more wiser with it and know how to properly adjust and use it but yeah on that front they still talking we'll hear progress that's being moved it's been approved and then come back and it's not approved then they playing games that's all i gotta say they're still playing games and 
In other news, once again, we still have a lot of more news reports of, you know, deadly shootings, um, police officers shooting, of course, black men, if not more people of color. But this is such a reoccurrence to a point where it's like, okay, they run that 24-7. Now it's becoming in between why is that the purpose? What what's what's further behind that? Let's dive a little bit deeper into why is that always a reoccurrence and the also the sensationalizing of that. So emphasizing, you know, well of course we emphasize the race and the particular, you know roles when it comes to that but why is that something that's so fully ingrained right now just know that there's multiple levels being played on us whether it's spiritually mentally physically all of that so be mindful be aware of that and know that if you feel it here you see it think about it and put it all together and get your picture but yeah so far that's really there's really a lot that i've i've seen news wise i haven't really been keeping up with anything else besides hearing about once again 45th having cv the debates going the ways that they're going and then still talks with passing more cares act whatever different types of stimulus packages to support the nation and then, like I said, just constant news of more and more, you know, black bodies, which is unfortunate. But in, yeah, in current news and events, that's all at least I've seen. If y'all have any other ones, please feel free. Drop them in the comments. Always know that you are welcome to come on and talk because that's how we keep this more of a communicative life and make it more live versus just me talking to you to the screen and really just get the engaging going. But appreciate those who have in the comments, but just know invitations always here for that. So now moving to second topic, which was a very interesting and very, you know, a good topic to, to touch on is in especially in the state and affairs that things are right now. And my my friend, which is Chris, she really emphasized wanting to have a a talk and a back and forth about, you know, the mental the mental health, you know, within men as well as the emotional intelligence and being able to con- figure and figure that out within men and you know what better way for someone to speak on that as well as for myself to speak on that speaking that I am a man and just a disclaimer this is not of course forgetting the other different side of everybody else's mental health like women you know, other genders and sexual orientations. It's more so we're just digging a little different, deeper specifically just today for men. I mean, all overall, a lot of these things can still, it's, they still impact all different types of people. So that's just the disclaimer here, but let's get into it. With the mental, the mental and emotional health of men, it definitely has made a decline as well as it has exposed a lot of cultural and gendered eye genderized 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 ways of how genders approach emotions and just mental health in general 
and when I speak about that, we have the whole concept too of you know, of you know men not crying, you know, and holding in those emotions and not expressing them, as well as not knowing a valid way to do so. And I will I will say for for myself speaking when it comes to at least emotional intelligence or being able to regulate my emotions I can definitely say back when I was a child there is definitely times where I was unsure of what to do with a feeling of like sadness or anger or confusion or envy or jealousy but I can say because of my family specifically my mom my grandmother I grew up in a family mostly of women so having those women as well as my uncles there within my life they always gave me at least a space to be able to explore those emotions and to just let them out in a certain way. Whether that would be me running outside or that would be me, you know, just letting myself just cry if I fail or anything of that nature to to really feel the emotion and know the reasoning why I'm feeling the emotion. But nowadays, with a lot of different dysfunctional, you know, families, kids not having those role models and having those environments to really grow their grow healthy emotions as well as um, grow healthy mentally, they have that dysfunctional way of figuring all of that out. So specifically within men, and then also within, of course, before being a man, being a boy, you find other different outlets that may not be advantageous for you to be able to do so so saying you're very angry you take it out basically on just fighting which we see that a lot you're just literally fighting it's like i'm gonna get this energy out you piss me off so now we either we're gonna square up we're gonna catch a fade what we're gonna do we can go catch this outside and even though that may you know, be a viable way to get all of that energy out. There's definitely alternatives when it comes to that. Whether, and I know right now because the CV is very limited, but you got to get creative. But I mean, there's a such thing as boxing. I mean, there's a such thing as doing exercises. There's a such thing as literally running or any any other thing when you're feeling those different types of emotions, especially with anger to be able to do so but once again the environment and having the guidance of someone there for you consistently to be able to explore and feel those emotions and be able to regulate them in a certain way within a safe environment not many boys have that so they're conditioned very early to just hold that all in because of the fact that they don't truly know where they can reach out to have an outlet to be able to do so and you know i can be once again i could be completely wrong this is just my own observations and perspectives of what i've seen and it's very it's very important to add that in because y'all might be seeing something else different maybe yours is like nah they know how to handle themselves they know what to do but just from what i'm seeing too within the schools and there being classes and lessons on how to breathe, how to deal with anger, different emotional learning skills that need to be taught. It shows that right now, emotionally and mentally, the kids are not being stimulated or being shown, especially boys are not being shown how to express these emotions and know what these emotions are, be able to pinpoint them to be able to use them 
to their benefit, not only, you know, to just know them, but to use them to their benefit. And when you have someone that is emotionally unstable, you are never, you are unsure what you can do for them because any little small thing can just set them off and it can just crumble. Even if it's just one word and you don't know and they haven't learned how to, once again, express or be able to take that in and figure out why. So a lot of it too is with the emotional health, it's like, why should we? For men, it's like, you know, why or boys, why should we express that when we're feeling like that? Because if we do, we have society telling us or we're going to be looked at as weak or we're going to be looked at as frail. We're going to be looked at as overly emotional. And then, of course, the main word, you know, or the main words, you either are a cat. I'm not going to say the word, but you can get the reference. You either are a cat or you are a female dog. And that can be demeaning to anybody, any gender, any, any type of person. But it's because of that ego, too, that men hold in so much, too, that once it hits there, like that, it, it really, it really does hit there. But that's where a lot of that energy and a lot of that emotion needs to be addressed. And it has to start with um, looking in. And that's where a lot of men don't get enough time to be able to do so. And especially to the way that men express their emotions is so completely different from how women any other type of you know gender and person would express their emotions at least from my perspective i know being me i'm a very i'm a very stoic person so i don't always literally show my emotions that much on my you know face and my you know my body I may have a weird face or you can see like if I make some type of gesture, you can tell like I'm expressing or showing some type of, you know, attention to it. But you rarely catch me being very angry. You rarely catch me being very sad. You rarely catch me any of this stuff. And the reason behind that is, like I said earlier, I had places, environments, people to be able to cultivate that emotional intelligence and know how to use my emotions to my benefit so I don't necessarily just react when something happens I use it as a risk I use it as a response to my own self to let me know something is going on that's what I see as emotions period is there's some there's something there are antennas there are some warning signals is letting you know something in your environment it's affecting you in some way shape or form and you need to address it and whatever it is, look at that and figure out why is that bothering you. And so I'm able to address that even before giving my response instead of just quickly just off of them, just reacting. Because emotion, again, too, how I see it is energy in motion, which is literally how you use your energy in motion is how you're going to either react or respond to a situation. And with men being able to not do that because of upbringings, what's been taught, environment, as well as societal roles and expectations of what being a real man is, which a lot of people have different variations of what that is. Men t tend to just be like, I'm going to just keep it here. And a lot of that repressed emotions and stuff comes out and it is done in many various different ways whether you see a lot more suicidal you know successful you know suicides you know as in i mean a few i can think of you got you know chester bennington you have a lot of your different musicians you have your anthony Dor um bourdain's you have who else that i can think of that also did but that but there's more but i'll just say in those particular cases but it 
it comes to that point of okay then if that's the case emotional wise for men which i will get into the mental too they all really very mixed together then what can men do to be able to become either emotionally intelligent or what can they do to effectively express their emotions to get them out to everybody else and for that to be the case you have there are outlets to be able to do so a lot of men do turn to really good friends of theirs other men and have those moments and times where they're able to express and they're able to show you know how they feel and what they are doing what's up brother how you doing my g good to see you up in here to wanting to do that even if you think that your homies feel that it's not the case you're gonna always have somebody there who's gonna hold you down but that's you being able to find those type of people to do so what's up brother what's the word my g this guy extra hey man if you if you got anything when it comes to this bro which once again everybody is the brother dallas this is what's the word wednesdays and right now brother we're talking about specifically the emotional health of men and i was i was talking about how you know because of environment as well as upbringings and society and how they view what a real man is a lot of men don't express those emotions and they hold them in so then i came and i was getting to the point now where it's like okay if that is the case then what can men do to be able to express these emotions in a very effective way and i was speaking i just spoke on how you have you'll have a, a group of homies you're able to do that with or you have a type of person to be able to do so with but what do you that have on the time? i'm gonna tell you right now i'm sorry but i actually and the funny thing is i actually am a i would say a product of that environment because i grew up in that type of environment where men's feelings was suppressed mm -hmm. like so it was like it was like yo just take care of business you know do this and do that type stuff and you know it's like yo do it this way type thing like my pops was never really big on emotions like i promise yeah. you, even to this day um which is good in some ways because mm -hmm. it like dealing with this world now like it's very good because I don't get all caught up in the in the in the like drama and sympathy of like a lot of stuff. And I was yeah. just explaining that to somebody earlier, like as far as like sympathy, like a mm -hmm. lot of people look for that sympathy out there. Like I don't sympathize, but a good way for I I believe for men that have suppressed it, you just have to find like similar dudes that want to if you want to get over those type of things. You need to ask me a question. If you like, so, so like, um, if you need to find like, a, like, like you said, like a different outlet or somebody that you trust, like, yo, I keep saying this, bro, but you and my guy Keelan, he would love this topic, yo. You guys gotta be the next time I'm in LA when I get my car fixed, bro. The yeah. next time I'm in LA, I'm definitely getting y'all together. Like, y'all gotta get together. Um. Um, because, and because y'all like challenging each other, like y'all, I'm telling y'all gonna fool it's so crazy. But as far as like, as far as outlets go, I'm not gonna say it's like a lot. Like one thing that I had to learn, even yeah. though I started to branch out and and go into it, a yeah. woman actually helped me figure that out mm -hmm. it was one of my exes and we actually have like a rocky ass relationship excuse my language we have a rocky relationship mm -hmm. because during the time that she wanted love out of me i was like love you feel me like i'm like like what do you what like what do you want from me like you feel me yeah. i'm giving you what you want like what do you what more do you want like i i like once again and that's our community like i'm like yo what is this feeling like what is all this you know, like I was new to all that. Like mm -hmm. I knew how to treat a woman, right? And give her what she needs. But it's like, yo, like, what the hell? Like, like love and affection and expressing emotions. Yo, that's yeah. a whole nother level. Like, and I really went through trial and error with her. And she kind of helped me see things in a way. Like, 
And I thank her to this day. Like, I let her know, like, yo, you changed that part of me. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. we had it not been for her sensitive self, so I would have never, like, and then she kind of was pressing on issues that kind of, like, made me, like, see things. And I'm just, like, and I was yeah. young again, so I had to, like, push through those things and be, like, like, is this something that I really need to grow in? Or did I want to yeah. be, like, you have to be willing to change, too, because a lot of people are just mm -hmm. so caught up in their way, and they're, like, oh, no, nah, I'm this way, this me. All right, girl, like, you got to be the big, bad wolf. Like, bro, you can still be the nicest dude and the most dangerous dude at the same time, you know? Like, yeah. Some sometimes as men, like I feel like we think that if we do open up to that side, that yeah. we can't no longer be the protector or you know the 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 oh I'm I'm the macho man. Like you could still be the alpha dog, man. I'm an yeah. alpha. I, you know me. I'm an alpha dog. Like there's no like my woman. If I'm dating somebody, my woman could run the relationship, but you would never know because of the way I am. So that means my woman is your camera good? Mm -hmm. Okay. That means because that means my woman would have to let me be the alpha dog. Yeah. Like my woman, my woman would have to let me be that alpha dog because that's who I am. Like you gotta let me see yeah. that it's a purpose for me. If not, I'm like, yo, what the f am I doing here? Like, what is the point of me opening up to you? What is the point of me, you know, like things like that? So, I, and I think that's what a lot of men fear. They feel lo lo losing that control. But a part mm -hmm. of gaining more control, I feel like it's an evolution. Like a part of gaining more control is just yeah. like, it's just saying like, hey bro, like I'm 50-50 when I get in a relationship. Mm. Has anybody who's ever been in a relationship with me? Like, I'm 50-50. Like, mm. you run it, I run it. But if I feel like you make a decision that's just not smart, like, I will yeah. veto everything. Like, I promise you. Like, but most times, <laughs> nine times out of... No, I am because I'm a decision maker. Most women cannot handle that tough decision making. That's where I'm glad that my pops taught me, you know, like, yo, sometimes emotions have nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a man just gotta make the decision and step up and do what needs to be done, despite yeah. what that woman feels. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, she might feel that way for that moment, but I'd rather you feel that way for that moment, and I take care take care of the situation, and we can still like you know work on you know be be around each other in a, in a good uh, headspace, and yeah. everything is still cool. Like. Like uh, like a lot of women try to argue with me. I'm gonna use that as an example. A lot of women try to argue. I do not argue. I hate it. I hate it, bro. Like I would literally hang up. I would go ghost. Like I would shut up before I argue. Like I'm just like, but if you keep pressing me, I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, like do you really want to go into this? Like, but you know what that is. You know what that is, right? Hmm. You know what that is, right? When no, it comes to more. like the argument. So I mean. In that particular case, oh, look who in the building. It is Chris in the building. But what that is. Nah, that is, is here. I'm here first. Ha <laughs> ha. That's an exchange of different energy. So they want you to meet them where they at when it comes to that energy. And if you're not meeting them there where they at, you know, it's because they're trying to exchange to get that out. That's a way also of expression, you know, expressing like that emotion. I mean, for, for us, we do it in a different way, even if we are having arguments about whether if it's, you know, who the who the go to basketball is or, you know, who's so, favorite so. player, whatever else it may end up being. It's just, I, I spoke on it earlier, but it's just, yeah, men, women, and all different types of um, genders and on, this, on the spectrum, we, we express and show emotions so radically different. So my we, mad, my mad could look, completely different from a woman's mad or my happiness can look completely different from another on the on that gender scale their happiness and it's just depending on you know it's depending on like you so like what you were saying like not engaging in that you know and the reason why that that continuing too is because of the fact that you're not giving into that energy there so that emotion that's being expressed out you know, you're just like, nah, that we're not, not doing yeah, that. And, that, and that's that me. Somewhere like, else. A, you got to take a, that somewhere else. A, yeah, that's me. And a lot of times, like, when women try to, back to my, my example, like, a lot of times yeah, women, try to, women, try to, women try to argue with me, 
and I'm just like, I look at a woman like now, like back then, I probably would say little things and probably going to, but now I'm just like, I look at you now and be like, like yo, is this what you want to do? Like that's what my look saying to you, like, and and nine times out of ten, they they'll tone it down. You feel me? What's up, so Steph? Like, it's Steph, y'all. I feel like I feel like I feel like dudes can the one outlet that we gotta use. Like like I said, a woman taught me. A woman yeah. taught me how to how to change those emotions, how to really like channel those emotions. Yeah. As far as like, and then on top of her teaching me and what I was taught, I was able to find that balance and be like, bro, I don't need to like always go into everything. Like that's not what I'm taught anyway. But yeah. because it was my first time really dealing with a woman that was emotional that kind of helped me just be like, like, damn, bro, like, this is different, you know, like, but now, I'd rather, but it's back to the tough decision making, I'd rather that woman yeah. hate me for that moment, if I ignore her for that moment, I'd rather you hate me, I don't give a damn, like, I'll tell you straight up, I'd rather you hate me for that moment, because it just saved us a whole month or two of argument, I don't argue, I would never argue with a woman, yeah. I can't, it's back so hard for me, it's so hard for me to do, yo. Yeah, bro. Right. And speaking, and speaking of that too, we want to also want to make sure I'm piecing into the mental, the mental part of this um emotional um health too with men is because it all it all really interconnects because of the way that you feel and how you express yourself. It also affects too how you think and how you make decisions. So if you're not able to have that balance too of how to figure out what and how to express the emotions it will also have a mental breakdown of that too so if you're really feeling down sad and we're gonna go there on a the depression route you'll start having these thoughts these negative thoughts and things happening and with men it can really it can really range whether it's from just all the way down low medium all the way to the whole extent it just really depends on two i spoke about it earlier it's not only just for men and women but specifically and then other other genders on the other line but specifically for men too that ego hits really hard and when the ego is bruised that badly it makes it we see you, Steph. very we see hard you, Steph. for them, a man to make a comeback on that but go ahead no i was just saying we see it but no i'm with you on the on the mental aspect of it too because a lot of people are, are not strong-minded. Even women that I talk to, a lot of women can't deal with me because you got to be strong-minded to deal with me. If you give yeah. up, that's on you. Like, I'm going to look at you like, all right, you wasn't meant for me because I don't need a weak-ass woman. And I say that with pride because it's like women always have these high expectations of dudes, but what about what a man needs? If we going through it mentally and emotionally, from whether it's from childhood, childhood upbringings and whatever and whatnot, when we were taught, yo, you gotta be that, you gotta be that extra balance in there. You feel me? You gotta mm -hmm. be that go-to. If you wanna be a part of that man's life, you gotta be that go-to. So if a man asks you to like, like just like, like me personally, I tell all my women like, yo, just, if you gonna say something, I tell them just hold down to it. That's me. Gotcha. If you hold, if you hold, if you hold down to it, and I tell them, yo, if you hold down to it, give me a piece of mind, yo. We're going to always be cool. That's because of the patriarch. Go into detail about that. What you mean? Um, she Because she's ready to get on. She wants to have her time. So no, I, if, don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> that's, right cold. that's cold. <laughs> that's cold. That's no, cold. So, so this is so your topic. We're working out next. Yeah, we work, we working out next week, man. We just I had uh, a birthday this weekend for a friend. But I will so say I this, brother. I will say I can't this. Do it this. That's the only reason why I can't do it this weekend. Go ahead. Yeah. But no. But the reason why I say, I say, or I'm just the rebut, what you are saying too, you know, it's, it's also, it's on our part as well as, you know, the other, whoever you're getting into a partnership with too, to be able to have a lot of that check as well as to know the boundaries and to know where you're at either emotionally, mentally before going in and being able to have that line of communication to let them know, you know, okay, like this is where I am going to need a little bit more support in and are you able to do that? Because being able to communicate that and even if you're not, you don't know, I mean, that's what you've been either gotten to learn in various other relationships or you, like you said, you've had somebody be able to expose that to you. But see, now as you've gotten to have a lot more of that experience, learn where and how 
and what emotions and how to show that as well as mentally to work things out now you know how to express that and give that out to somebody and let them know like okay yeah when I'm having a day where I'm coming in and I'm super, you know, tired and you can tell that I'm super tired. Just know, give me my 10 to 15 minutes just to recharge. And I'm not, I don't want to speak, say anything. And then when I come back in, you know that I'm here with you. Right. And I'm, and I'm that, and I'm that way. And that's, and I, and I like that. And I am that way in a, in a sense, but it's like, I know some dudes that are just like me, like, yo, any woman that's ever like talked to me, yo, like, like, I got Shorty sitting here with me right now. Like, she'll tell you, like, that ass, like, yo, it's hard to read me, you feel me? Like, as far as, like, like to understand what I'm exactly going through. Like, I feel like men, especially black men, I'm going to touch on black men because I know yeah. that we go through it the most. Like, in our community, we're so, like, yo, feelings downplayed. Yo, be this, be that. If you're not this and that, what are you doing? Yeah. It's literally just like that, you feel me? Like, like... A woman, a woman can see a man down, and she can have a bag, but she won't help him out. A man can see a woman down, but because the way he's raised, he'll go yeah. help her out. You feel me? And I don't yeah. like that, and I'm never like I've never liked that. You feel me? Like, cause I'm like, yo, I don't care if I got a bag or not. Like, you feel me? Like, we should be able to. Yeah. We should be able. We should be able to, you know, do do for others just because we want to. You know, your status shouldn't change none of that. And I feel like that messes up a lot of people mentally, too, because that'll, that'll tear them down mentally. Like, oh, I got to be on this level in order to get this type of treatment. Like, bro, I know celebrities. I know uh, celebrity stats, all that. But I don't. Yeah. they all will tell you, like, yo, I'm the most down-to-earth, chill dude. Like, I don't care about none of that stuff. Like, I dead-ass don't. Like, gotcha. because I'm like, yo, none of that should dictate on how you treat somebody as a person. Mm-hmm. Like if that per if that person wants to open up and that person wants to be cool with you, yo, that should be what it is. Like be that person's peace. Don't you know? Don't yeah. don't make war with somebody when you can be at peace with them. You feel me? Sure. Like, All right. Let's see what comments you got. Yeah. Know. Well, that comes down to communication as well as men communicate differently and less clearly sometimes due to the emotional buildup or lack of emotional intelligence. I will definitely say for sure. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And that all comes from the patriarchy and outcome from. Hmm. And and that, mean, Chris. And and that's and that's what I. Bruh, what's going on? Sound like somebody just walked in my house. But as you're doing that, Chris, I feel you. You know, that's why it's okay. very important for, you know, for men to be able to express and, you know, find that emotional intelligence. And it is through various different, you know, activities and people, places and environments for them to be able to do so. And I can definitely say for myself, and I got you, bro. I can definitely say for myself, Chris, that because of the people that I had around me, especially a lot of them also being women, because women are really, really in touch with their emotional side because of the feminine and masculine different energies. So when we speak on that particular aspect, they they have more of an um, intuition and attunement when it comes to being able to express and really be in tune with their emotions. For us, that's something we do have to develop and come along with to learn and know. So, yes, we may be, you know, lacking in that in some areas. But the thing is, it's always it's going to be vice versa. There's some men that can do, I touch there's on that? not a man who do. There's some women that don't and some women that can. Same thing on all those lines. It really is really honestly it comes down to really individual as well as their experience and what they have went through for that to be able to happen. But go ahead. My touch on it. Yeah. So uh, to double back on what you just said, as far as like. You know, like women, I believe that women lack the emotional intelligence as well, because it's not just us like, and that's what we all hype it up as like, oh, women are more emotional. But I'm like, no, but they lack the emotional intelligence. Like sometimes they don't know how to communicate. Either. Like you said, it's, it could be vice versa. Like yeah. sometimes, sometimes they don't know how to, like me, I, I'm straight up. Like I dead ass would ignore you if I'm mad sometimes. Like I don't have a problem with it because I'd rather be silent then cause a whole situation that's not me i'm like yeah i'm dead ass quiet like i'm cool like let me get over it because if you let me get over it it's probably some stuff that i'm just thinking like bro this 
ain't even that big. Like, let it just blow over. You feel me? Like, but I'm not going to tell you to let it blow over. Like, just read me. Like, don't talk to me for like, like you said, like, it's like, yo, you don't, you don't got to say nothing to me. Like, I done had shorties in my face, like, bug me. I'm like, yo, why are you? Like, I had to ask them, like, yo, why are you bugging? Like, all right, look it. I feel, look it. I feel your point right there, too. But that's another thing we got to be careful with um, doing. And that is the third. And that's the third thing for today is you got to avoid making those assumptions because sometimes it's very hard for people to read people, my G. And it's almost like, you know, and I'm not saying that it's, you know, it's undoable, but it does get to a point. It's like, okay, now you got to be a mind reader. And not only just for you trying to read, you know, whoever you're with in their mind, but it's like you, you want them to do the same thing. But once again, it has come back to that communication. So like you've already gotten a cold down. This is, this is, we will say, this is the, the best situation for you to already have a cold down of how you move and stuff so that your partner or whoever up, you're in a relationship What's with, up, brother? they already know, okay, when he's feeling or looks this certain way, okay, something's going on. Let me have his space. Or when I see her and What's she's up, doing dude? this particular thing, okay, I'm going to let them have, I'm going to let her have her space. But see, that comes with the communication. But we got to be careful because we just don't want to assume and we don't want to be like, okay, you need to read me. You need to read this. The thing is, I don't know. You tell me. Let me hear it out your mouth. And I get it. It might, it well, might also exacerbate things. But the thing is, you never know. You got to act. Well my, th well, my thing is, it's like, I'm pretty forward. Like, if a woman's dealing with me, by the time she lays down in bed with me and after that, she already know what she's getting herself into. You feel me? So whether it's it whether it's only like that's any bro. I have women turn me down because they know exactly what you gonna get yourself into. Like, I, and I'm cool with that because if you're not meant for that, that's cool. Like some women would wouldn't mind having a baby. They know I don't want to have a baby. Like, so you would know what you're getting yourself into. So as far as like reading me, like you know what you get yourself into once you're dealing with me. You feel me? So yeah. whatever happens after that, that's pretty much on. You know, I'm just like yo, like. If, if I'm going through it, like, I know how to express it. I know how to be like, yo, get out of my... Like, I know how to be like, yo, just chill out. Like, I'm not going to say a lot because I won't go into detail about nothing. But if yeah. I say, yo, if me as who I am, because any of my women would tell you when I'm around them, I'm, like, real quiet or I'm just chilling or I'm turned up sometimes, one of the two. But most times, like, I'm just on some chill shit. So if I got to tell you, like, yo, chill out, they understand already. Just me saying, like, yo, chill out. Like, I'm not even going to raise my voice and nothing. I'm literally, it's going to be come off like, hey, yo, chill out. And they literally going to chill out on whatever the fuck it is they doing because they know, like, yo, I'm not, I'm not one of these weirdos and I didn't just told you to chill out. And you want me to respect, and I'm all about respect. So if you want me to respect your space when you feel in some type of way, then I feel like you need to respect that vice versa. You feel me? Like, like you can open your mouth and tell me things. Like, you feel like you one of those people that need to tell me something when you mad? Go ahead. I have some people that don't want to say nothing when they mad. I know that because we talked about that before we even get there. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But you do got to communicate that with that person. Like, you right. Like, that's what y'all got to communicate all that yeah. with that person. Like, it shouldn't all uh, be focused on reading each other. And it should be about communicating it should be about the verbal contract and understand. Yeah, that's what and that's what I so just said. Going off of Joseph lives or reading action and have to be said. Um, popping to say hi, getting my little going, but I wanted the support. I appreciate the love and the support. Oh, um, we appreciate that. My my guy appreciates that. Um, so that and then back to what Chris Chris just said, like. Like that's that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, yo, we definitely verbally communicated that. You feel me? Like, so get your phone together. <laughs> but I know it's a damn pla it's a plastic right here. But I definitely like I'm I'm with that tenfold. Like, yo, a woman should always like, yo, you should you should know like like dealing with the person whoever you're dealing, I don't care who you are, dealing with whoever you're dealing with, you should know like, yo. It's the last 10 ah, minutes. Ah, the homie. Ah. Bro, MC Zero's in the building. 
You might, you might have just looked out, Chris. I was about to, but now the whole year, I don't know. Bro, this is what we going to do. All right, here, look it. Let's do it. I want look you it. to I'm gonna do let it. I'm gonna let a... it. Respect. I'm going to give her respect. Let me give her in here. Oh, so. All right, all right, Chris, get yourself up in here so we can we can um end this out too and finish on the last part, you know. But yeah, MC Zero on the building, y'all. What's going on, brother? Once again, thank y'all for being here for uh, episode twelve of What's the Word Wednesdays. So let's get the let's get the sister Chris up in the building to do that. I want you to do a do to be continued on so because I have so many questions. Um. We okay. I don't know I don't Can know if we're gonna um, continue on this though, um, Candace. But you know we'll speak on a little bit as much more we can. But we got her whipping in the car. But welcome can to you episode. See me? Yes, I can see you as you're can when you, you turn me? the wheel. We we don't. But yes, I can okay. Hear you. I just pulled into the crib. So alrighty, I missed a lot, but I really wanted to go deep into like the mental health and aspect of men because you know how we were talking last week about like the shaping the social shaping between the two yeah where dallas you speak you spoke a lot on that about like you know some women are not emotionally intelligent that's true that's true no um it's across the board but specifically my focus is on men because you guys have a disadvantage i feel like it took a long time for me to come up with this you know, thesis, but you guys are just now being able to freely express yourself and freely yeah. speak and freely feel your emotions because yeah. prior uh, other generations, um, you were looked at as weak or that's not what a man should do. There was a lot yeah. of societal pressures and expectations yeah. and this now we're living in the consequence of that where yes. now, you know, the dynamic between man and woman is all, it's all blurred, it's all blurred out. There's, there's a lot of uh, conflict there, Yes, you know, and right now we as women need to be, or we need to understand that. And that's where on your, on your point, Dallas, um, yeah, there's some women who aren't emotionally intelligent. There's a lot of women who don't know or don't realize that that's where we're at right now, is that you guys are coming to an awakening of understanding yes, is. and Today's processing Wednesday. your emotions. So the we logo. need to be able to give you the space to do that. We do. Uh, yeah. But we have to see it for ourselves as well. Um, but my focus goes back to... <laughs> on men you know you guys need compassion right now you guys need understanding right now you guys need to get to a place at least the ones who are like i, I will say like the generic alpha male you know yeah. need to feel comfortable you need to get to a place where you feel comfortable that you can share your emotions because yeah. right now most um the society is changing the narrative but the individual person is still yeah. holding themselves in that prison. It's still holding yeah. themselves to those old, um, outdated values and and standards of what it is to be a man. Yeah, and Does I, that I, make I did sense? get to touch on that. Yeah, I did get to I did touch on that earlier when I started off this. So I'm glad you brought it back again from circle because that's what I was mostly that's what I spoke about when it came to that and when it comes to that then it was just like okay then what is the those outlets to be able for men to do that and mostly exactly. dallas spoke on it dallas spoke on it too is definitely having you know for him that's how he became a lot more emotionally intelligent is because mm -hmm. of he because of a woman showed him how in a relationship and that's mm -hmm. like one outlet for men to be able to do that is to have a woman to um, show them that. For mm -hmm. me, I was able to at a very young age because of the environment and the people that I had around me, being my mom, my grandmother, my uncles and everybody, they gave me that time to be able to do so. So if I was very upset and I was very mad, they would give me something to be able to express that in a certain way. Either that's just me going right. outside, throwing something, or me going outside just, you know, running. Right. Or if I was sad or something, like literally they'll just let me be off in the corner and know that I'm right there with you, but they let me express it. So that's why for me, my emotional intelligence, that's only to speak on myself is right. 
a lot more higher than what you would want to say the norm is because of the fact that I've come to understand what and how to express those in a more effective way to help me not keep everything bottled in. And I was right. speaking on earlier, but I was speaking on earlier that there's a lot of ways that men can do that. And most of it, it mm -hmm. is still interacting with their own, you know, brothers in, in a circle to be able to do that, whether it's them going mm -hmm. out and doing things like playing basketball, having, you know, um, a dude's night out, whether, you know, right now, no, because the CV is a whole different thing. Um, playing mm -hmm. video games like there's various ways that I think it's just the connection and communication piece for men to be able to have that safe space or really that brave space to be able to do so that's where a lot of that unraveling and learning of oh dude when I feel upset when you say that bro this is what it makes me feel like but you know what after I thought about it like now I understand why I get upset from that and like we'd be cool like it's just like so it's basically being able to experiment and have that time to but like you said we got society having one thing to say about men and you right. have other people upholding a different idea of what men should be doing and this this and that but that's but where you also you go gotta ahead. be careful of I understand it's like yes be around your brothers but you gotta be careful of the mindset of your brothers you're around too because yeah, exactly. some of some of them may still be holding themselves to the patriarchal views, right? Yeah. And then so therefore that's gonna project onto you. And Dang. that's you know what I mean? That's going to uh project onto you as well. So yeah. you have to also, like when it does come down to like uh the social a aspect, that's another yes. one where you just have to be cautious. You gotta know who you're around. And you have mm -hmm. to put yourself around emotionally intelligent brothers and sisters. Same for women, because, you know, we got some girls out here who are haters. And, you know, they'll tear you down, you know, just for whatever reason. So you got to watch your circle. You got to make sure the, yes. the people you're getting your, your venting to, you got to yes. make sure that that is the actual safe space. But I, I do agree with yes. you and, and, um, and all those ways. To come so, to uh, self and for emotional health, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. yes, and and we're gonna we're gonna still want to continue this a little bit too since you came in a little bit later. But what's up, fam? We're gonna we're gonna definitely do it on the after show. But I want to at least get to wrap up the last two minutes and speak on especially um how to avoid making assumptions, y'all. So mm -hmm. this is another one of the four agreements from the book the four agreements this is the third agreement which is um um don't make assumptions or avoid making assumptions and we already know the whole the whole saying of you know asinine which you know you make a at, out of you know you and me the same thing mm -hmm, with assumptions mm -hmm. you have that so mm -hmm. it's literally the to break you know avoid making an assumption we've been speaking about it all this live is communicate mm -hmm. like if you're not too sure if you think a person might be thinking or saying something about that, it is going to take some courage and it is going to take you and that extra push to come over there and confront and ask, like, excuse me, like, mm -hmm. is there something going wrong? Like, did we have is something out there? And then they'll be like, well, you know, the way you was looking from across, I thought you were wanting to. And then you could be like, oh, no, 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 that wasn't the case. Like, I was just like this, this. I liked actually what you had on your shirt. And then, you know, right. just from having that conversation, you can avoid the whole assumption like this person didn't like me and they be giving me this weird look. So that means, man, I'm just going to look back at them like that. And right, right, right. Same thing when it comes to thinking somebody's either smarter, thinking somebody knows more than they do. You, when it comes to making that, um, avoiding those assumptions too, is really just watch the person, observe. And like, you'll see after a while, like, okay, when you really think, you really thought that person may not have known what they're doing or they're a lot more physically aggressive or whatever, you know, you may think of that person, but you view and see them and how they act and see, you see it be the opposite. That's how you can also do that. So push yourself to avoid jumping to the conclusion so quickly because of what you've heard from somebody right. else or what you've seen off of just you reacting to what someone has said or done in front of you. And right. You know, there's, you know, there's so much more that we can end up doing with that. But this goes all back full circle with not only what's going on currently within, you know, society, as well as the mental, emotional health of men. But a lot of that is finding, finding that awareness, taking that time to develop perspective, develop your mind, 
develop how you see and you move around things and being able to let yourself know that it's okay to feel this certain way. It's okay to see these things, but learn how to respond by taking it in and processing it. But other than that, y'all, it's been another episode of What's the Word Wednesdays, episode 12. I appreciate everyone that came on. Shout outs to Dallas for coming in. Shout outs to Chris for doing the thing as well, too, and sharing the perspective. But other than that, I'll see y'all next Wednesday. Peace and love from the heart and soul. We.